Welcome to part three. Okay, nonetheless. Still gonna put it on. I'm gonna put it on this first. That's where I needs it. I'm already cleaned and dried it off. This is gonna be part three video. Let's get that looking good. Nice and on there. This little thermal paste pad or whatever it wants to call itself. You might have to trim some off if you get this specific one, but any decent aluminum or you know, vented properly, uh, heat, you know, thermal, um, the thermal heat sink should work just fine. Like I said, it doesn't really matter. It kind of does, you know, whatever you, if you ask me, I think the fan's just the better way to go. There's different types, whatever, but NBA gets very hot. It's advised to get a heat sink of some sort, at least something to dissipate the heat from these little fellas because they get very, very hot. I uh, did not remove this. I'm not going to. I'm not going to bother with it. Um, it came with two little clamps. Let's have a look. See. Wherever they are. Probably went and flew off. For all I know. Nope, they didn't. Cool. So, let's see. I'm going to move this over here. This, this. Just get all of this out of the way. It came with it. It's very nice. The door will... But I'm looking for. Okay, we're gonna use this little janky screwdriver looking guy right here. We're gonna put the NVMe right there. This came with these two little clamps to seal it on in place. But first things first. Is the screwdriver, will it cut it? Uh, no, the screwdriver does not spin properly. Okay, cool, janky screwdriver. That's what you get for messing with janky screwdrivers. Oh, well, I never put my faith in them anyway. Oh, wow. Uh, I really do not want... I don't like that. I, I don't mind, but... You know, I'm not about to find out what that will do if we leave it looking like that. God, my workroom is ugly right now. That's okay. We got more janky those little screwdrivers here. This is an iPad of mine that I'm fixing so I can do whatever the hell I want with it. It's a customer's, that's totally different. I do things differently. Anyway, let's see here. Get that piece of junk out of the way. Let's put this right here. Okay, cool. Let's do this. This is, okay. I trust my floor, I don't have any balloons lying everywhere. I can do that. Anyway, let's see if the screwdriver's not totally crap as well. But if you'll see why I'm doing it, there's a reason to the rhyme. There's a fan, it's nice, it's neat. Cool. And this one's also slightly a piece of junk, but let's. I just want to make sure it's nice and tight. I really don't want it protruding, but. Ah. I mean, I'll undo it if I need to. It's not that big a deal. Because, I mean, it's just a little fan. You don't really don't even have to run the fan on the cool, but I think that's kind of the perk of it. But let's try and put this fan back in place properly. And see why it's sitting the way it's sitting. They should have used a four seated screw. In other words, seated four, not just in two places. That's kind of a kind of a yellow flag. It's not really gonna cause any damage or harm that it's not seated on all four sides. I mean it's not like you're you're cooling your whole PC with this little guy. And it does hold in place. Uh, if you have something like this, you run into something like this, you could probably just, use, if you really want it smooth and on point and all that good stuff, you, you might want to either take a Dremel and sand it down a little bit. It's, it's really all on you, you know. I want to make sure everything's seated properly. They should have mounted this little fan in four spots. They did not. If you have a Dremel, you can drill probably, I don't know about over here, this little side, because, I mean, that's where that is. Unless it has, I don't know, but I see another hole. See, I see, what, one, two. So I guess they didn't really find it too in the need. They did straighten out, so in a sense, I got them straighter. That's kind of what I was going for. I don't want them all jagged and looking all stupid. Not that anybody's going to see it, but I know it's there, and I don't want it to be off-center. You know, because over time, stuff shifts, and you don't want that to happen. Anyway, for the most part, I feel that it's on straight. It was jagged before, it's not anymore. I'm seeing that the fan 
works. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. The fan could use like some type of bearing or something to kind of really allow it to spin a lot freer. Don't get me wrong, it spins real nice and loose, but you see how it has that little wobble? I don't like that. <clears throat> anyway, it still will dissipate heat a little bit, and I want to keep it away, so I'm going to keep this towards the front. So, I would do it like this personally because I want to dissipate the heat off of. So, basically, I'm going to set it on somewhere like this where it's shooting the heat away and off. Or, to be totally honest, I think I should do it like this. The, the way it's going to sit in there, it's going to sit, clamp closed, back, done, okay. Yeah, okay, I'm going to run it like this. So, this is the way I'm probably going to run it because I can shoot the heat out straight off of it. I, like I said, I really can't say that it's going to matter too much because I'm using a Gigabyte Gaming 5, uh, what, Z370 or something like that, I forget. It's 8th gen, or the new, I don't know. It's it's running the newest um, um, i9 or whatever the heck I got on there, I forget. No, I'm not running i9, I'm actually running a, I've got so many PC builds that I'm trying to work on currently, but this is going on the, on a, uh, yeah, it's still going on the Gigabyte and all that, but it's not going on the, um, sorry, I lost train of thought because I'm multitasking this. Uh, it is not going on an i9. Uh, hey, cool. Uh, board, you know, or anything like that with the CPU. Oh. I'm not about to go get a knife and make this all perfect. Come on, get real. Realistically, if you can trim it with a thing, then trim it with a thing. Make sure it's all nice. I don't really want any bubbles. Yes, I'm using my thumb. I don't care. It's on the opposite side. Still. Let's make sure it's all on the board. Close this side. Just kind of just close it. Close it, close it. Because the heat is where the chipsets are and not the micro... And then it's going to hit, go off, cool. Now, seating it, eh, fairly straightforward, pretty much a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Now let's use our clamps, which I'm assuming fit over the top. Yep, they do. All right. Get in there. Let's get this little guy over here. It fits kind of loose. You know, you can slide it. That's cool. But I really kind of wanted a little bit more press fit. But that's all right. We will survive, and this thing will over the work. If it doesn't, it'll catch fire and explode, and then we'll all cry. But, well, y'all might laugh. I'll cry. But not really, I'll just return it and be like, what the fuck? And then and demand a fucking refund, goddammit. And an MVME that killed it. Hup, hup. Yeah, what I'm doing is I'm putting this on there. Okay. Well, I was hoping I could just slide it up, but so much for that. Okay, you cannot just slide it up. Eh. Let me loosen up one side. <laughs> oh, so I guess you can see what I'm doing. Just fumbling with it. One side, two sides. On there. On there. It sits a little, not loose per se, but, you know, I mean, it wouldn't hurt if it was a little bit more snug. But it is on. The fan is on. I should have, I don't have any uh, bare wire to spare in there, otherwise I'd power it up. But this is what we're looking at. Let's see if we can zoom in. It does not like to zoom in. Piece of junk. Anyway, we managed to get the fan on there. So it is vent, vent ready. Setting it in place might be a little bit easier. Installing an NVMe in the two is no big deal. Nothing to cry over. Unless you 
do it wrong and it explodes and catches fire, well then yes, you should cry. Let's do this. Oh, I don't know what was, oh, I don't know what they did to this thing while I was away. I was out of town. I mean this beautiful woman from Portland. But this is the semi-beast that we got going right here. And we need all that in there. Yes, yes, yes. This thing is going to be a monster. Uh, the NVMe M.2 sits under... There's one right there. I don't know if you can see it, but I think... It doesn't give me the option for the light. That's okay, but for the most part, what it's going to do is it's going to sit in here. Just like, nah. And it'll sit, and then this little screw right down in there. It's going to be our little savior, clamp it in, and this little guy right here, oh, oh, the Swift Tech. Yes, so this is almost, and once I get the hard line going and all that stuff like that, I'm going to run it soft line just to do that, because I want a few people, well, I like teaching people how to build PCs, so I'm going to kind of help a few friends uh, learn how to build PCs and get, get that out of their system, you know, so they can kind of understand that it's really no big deal. It's really not that hard to build a PC. And I recommend other people do it as well. I love teaching people how to do things. I'm more of a hands-on person when it comes to teaching because that way you can see it hands-on. I'm sorry, I'm not doing this any justice by doing it in the dark. Anyway, what you want to do, you want to undo this little screw right here. Pop this little guy up a bit. And that one screw fell. Cool. Pop this. Well, got caught there. Anyway, I would just suggest using magnetics. Magnetic, magnetic, magnetic. Uh, I don't know what fell. And there was probably the screw. Cool. Awesome. Just what I wanted to do. Lose the screw. Eh. That's what magnetic is for. We live and learn, don't we? Uh, let's see. Where's the other? Where's the other? I know it felt like right in here. Uh, this thing will not let me use the flashlight, or can I? Anyway, I'll get back to that because the whole point is, the whole gist and everything of it is, is to get this little guy in there. I can screw it in, in a second. We can do all that, but this PC is not ready to run just yet. And we're going to go over the whole thing anyway later on. But for now, what you do is it goes in at a little angle. It sits and it rests in its place, you know. And then there's a little uh, fan header right there. Just plug it into. I don't think you can see it because this thing is darker than hell. Mm. Basically, it's right here. I don't know if you can see that uh, fan, or it kind of pretty much they tell you it's just a fan, whatever. I'm using a uh, fan module system like this which came with the Swift Tech, so this is what I'm going to be using anyway, and that is not going to be able to connect with the NVMe, that's fine. But yes, we got some uh, video cards up in here, Runner 1070 Hybrid, which this also is going to be ran as hybrid, hybrid, hardline, hardline, and this thing's going to be all decked out nice, sexy, and just, mm. so, if you want more, let me know, but until then, I don't know, janky ass little three terabyte. Something for now. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope I was some help. If I wasn't, well then tell me to piss off. Give me a thumbs down. Tell me to fuck myself. Who cares? I don't know. I don't want to, and I won't, but hey, you're free to say and do whatever the hell you want on the internet, right? Anyway, if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. Otherwise, deuces.